welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Toby and as you can tell by the title I am going to be doing another mini sew so haul and I guess try on for you guys today so this one is going to be a little bit different to my last mini sew so video I am going to be showing you guys some of the makeup products um some of these are new arrivals and I am so excited to share with you what I got what I've got on my face so I am really happy with this finished look so I can't wait to show you guys all the products that I used. If you don't already know, Miniso are a Japanese brand and they have a huge variety of products, including a very good range of beauty products, some of which I will be showing you guys today. So everything from makeup sponges to brushes and lipsticks, CC creams, BB creams, eyeshadow, all that fun stuff, they have it and I just love visiting their store and yeah, they always have such fun stuff and it is so affordable and yeah. So I can't wait to show you guys all the products they use to achieve this really summery, glowy look. Again, super affordable and I just love the range that they have so yeah, let's get into this video. Okay, this is super weird. I have not done a makeup tutorial in literally forever so this is definitely just such an odd feeling to be doing this again um but i have already primed i've got um just some moisturizer on and some spf and yeah let's get into this makeup tutorial i have all my products in this cute little bag right here and yeah let's get into the video so i'm gonna start off with my base so i'm gonna go in with foundation i'm using the glowing silicone presser cc cushion foundation um this is an spf 33 it is so 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 important that your foundation or whatever you're wearing has spf in it like oh my god so important i have the shade warm beige i've never actually used um a cushion foundation before so this is a first for me press down and you get it i guess oh wow that's so cool Okay, so I'm back now. I've just gone in with some concealer and even though I think that this foundation is probably just a little bit too dark for me, it probably would have worked when I am um, on a fresh tan. But overall, I really like the application of this. The sponge is actually super easy to use and oddly enough, it picks up a lot of product, which I was not actually expecting. I thought it would only pick it up sparingly, um, but you just press it in and then you dab it all over your face and yeah, it actually picked up a really good amount of product. I didn't have to go back in like heaps of times the coverage on this I would say is medium um but it still gives you a really nice glow as well so I really like this and there isn't any like strong SPF scent or anything like that but as I said before it's just super important that you get a foundation or your base with SPF in it this especially here. So next I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes. There are six shades in this little palette here. It comes in a lot of other different varieties as well but I really love this one so this is the one I went with and yeah I really like the colors. I think they're super cute. It also comes with these little this little sponge adapter adapter oh my god sponge applicator here. Um, a lot of people don't use these but I actually love them because they pick up a good amount of product but to also apply this, they have their own little brushes. These ones are super cute. They just have like little gold flecks in them. And I think it is so sweet. So we're going to go ahead and apply this eyeshadow using these brushes. So I just want to go in with a good transition color. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start with the bronzer. But I'm going to go in with this on my eyes. So this is the Flawless 3 Color Bronzer here. And yeah, this one's just super cute i love ones that have like lots of different colors in them so this is what the bronzing set looks like here love the colors in that so i'm just gonna take mm, i'm just gonna take this outside shade right here and go in on my crease and i'm just taking this fluffy brush to do that run that under my little lash line too. I'm just gonna go for like a really summery glowy look. Then I'm just gonna take a slightly more defined brush from the set and I'm gonna go in with this pink shade right here which is actually a matte color. You 
these shades are super pigmented. Lastly, I'm going to take the sponge applicator and then this champagne shade right here, which is absolutely stunning. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. If you look at the color that picks up, don't throw away these little applicators. They are actually just so good. Look at that. I'm going to take the slightly darker pink which is a shimmer as well and I'm just going to pop that on the outer corner of my lid just at the end here and lastly I'm going to go in with the lightest shimmer shade right here I'm going to pop that in my inner corner We're gonna do some winged eyeliner so I'm gonna go in with the precise waterproof okay so now that my eyeliner is done that was actually such a good eyeliner it glided on so well and it didn't get interrupted by any of the shimmers which has happened to me so many times which is just super annoying um, but it glided on super well I feel like the wings are just really nice and yeah it's really pigmented I really like that next we're gonna take some mascara so this is the Roller Lash Masca <laughs> Mascara, whoa, this is huge, oh my god, look at that, that's really cute. Alright, so I'm just going to apply this. I really like this applicator, it's making my lashes look super thick, which is so nice. I actually think that makes my lashes look really thick and that was nice and easy. I love the rollable on the top. So that's lovely. Time for some eyebrows. So I'm going to be taking the Lasting Artisan Brow Essence Brow Stick. And I'm pretty sure I got this in brown. I believe this is their lightest shade. So this is it here. Oh, I've not used one like this before. Actually, no, I think I have. It's like a wet consistency. I'm just going in super light just in case it will go darker. Look at that. So far so good. I really like this. It's really easy to like maneuver. I feel like I've got a lot of control. I think that was a success. I actually think the color looks pretty good. So let's go in with bronzer. Actually, I might go in with lips. So I have two lip products here. So the first one is the Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rose Quartz. This is it here. It's like a really nice nude. And then I didn't want to undo the packaging because I wanted to show you guys how awesome this looked. This is the Exceptional Liquid Lipstick Bold Matte in... I think the shade is called Outstanding, but how stunning is this packaging? So, I really want to show you guys that. Another beautiful pink shade. Oh, which one should I go for? I might go for the matte one. Oh, it's so nice. I love that. That went on so well. That feels incredible. That color is so beautiful. It's actually got this really nice like sheen to it. Next we're going to go in with bronzer. So I am just going to go in with the same bronzer that I used just before. So I'm just going to kind of go through it all and then go in. So now that we've finished up with that, I'm going to go in with a highlighter. So I'm taking the Flawless Ombre Highlighter in the shade Topaz, which is this stunning gold shade right here. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. Just to finish it off, I am just going to pop some of the second lipstick on in the middle. Just because I want to see what color this is. But this is the second lipstick here. This is the Velvet Matte Lipstick. And I think it looks really nice. 
I feel like this kind of takes it into like more of a nighttime look. Whereas the other one is just a little bit more daytime. But this feels super nice on the lips. Oh yeah, this one feels so good. But that is it for this look. This is the finished result. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm actually obsessed with so many of these products. Like I... Oh my god. As I mentioned before, they do sell such a great range of stuff, including a huge range of affordable beauty products. And I really love all the pieces that I tried out today, like, so much. The mascara was great, the eyeliner was phenomenal. Even though the foundation was not really my shade, I feel like in my shade it would still be really perfect. And of course, it's very important that they have SPF in it. I'm so happy I got to try all these out for you guys today and show you guys what look I could create using this. I feel like this is so summery and just so appropriate for the weather right now and it's just so glowy and cute and yeah I really like now that I'm staring with myself I really like how thick my eyelashes look the winged eyeliner literally probably my favorite product I think that was just amazing I thought the brows were going to be a bit too dark but they actually ended up turning out super well and I don't know if that's because I used a light hand you could probably go in a little bit heavy-handed and get yourself a darker color um, but considering this is the lightest shade that they did it did end up working pretty well and yeah I'm just obsessed with how this ended up looking so pretty happy. I'll leave some minis or information down below so you guys can see where your closest store is and you can pick up some of these goodies for yourself. I would highly recommend it and just checking out their store in general is always so much fun. But yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!